And ahead the 2023 general election, uh, women have been urged to synergize to demand inclusiveness in governance and appointee positions. This was the consensus of participants at the 22nd National Council for Women Affairs Conference in Abuja. Participants also demanded full implementation of the 35% affirmative action for women. Maria Mohammed reports. Nigerian women have consistently pushed over the years to be a part of the decision-making process in nation-building. But it has been hard to convince a patriarchal society that women should aspire to and handle leadership positions. That has not stopped women advocates who have grown bolder with every passing administration and whose message is slowly becoming more acceptable across all sectors. While doors have slowly opened for women, their numbers in government are still below the required level. The forthcoming general elections present yet another opportunity for women to strategize towards participating in political leadership. At this Second National Council for Women Affairs, the Minister of Women Affairs, Dame Pauline Talon, insists women empowerment as it is time for women to take their pride of place in the nation. Our position is supported by the Kwara State Governor, Abdurrahman Abdurrazak, who agrees that there is need to support inclusivity. Women are encouraged to support each other in order to achieve their goals. This coming election, they support women across the parties. They also support people who have the gender uh, agenda in their hearts. The women should make sure that all the political parties, the politicians, have the issue of gender, especially inclusiveness and empowerment, the theme of this program, to make sure they have it in their manifesto and um, in their programs, to make sure that they promise to implement these decisions after. With this, the council hopes to see fundamental changes that will transform the lives of women and children across the country. Maria Mohammed, TVC News, Abuja.